doesn't matter what show I'm at around the world, no matter what, when I go through the start, all that matters is me, my horse and winning. Naturally, I would be the most positive person in the world, but uh, the minute I get on a horse in the arena or even in the practice ring, I'm 100% positive and, and trying to win, which is very important, obviously. If you're not trying, the horse isn't going to be trying. And it's not just me who has to be positive. You have to have a, a big team around you. And they have to really be with you, be positive, be fighting for you. And that's, uh, that's vital, obviously. Yeah, we have a big team here. Um, Marlene, my show groom, she's been here four years now. Jack Dodd has recently joined. Um, he's brilliant, he's a new rider here. Also my sister April is over here. She's been here for two years now. She's, uh, she's brilliant, she manages a lot and keeps everything in line. I've had Molly three years now. At the start of last year then she really stepped up to the plate, doing a lot of good Nations Cups and, and Dublin and the uh, World Equestrian Games. So, we have quite a close bond because I got her when she was eight and kind of developed up through the ranks uh, together and um, she she's quite a sensitive horse so she has a, a big personality and uh, we know each other inside out so it's it's a special bond with her. She's blood, she's hot, she's, uh, she's as competitive as I am I think. Definitely Dublin winning the Grand Prix and the Aga Khan was uh, for an Irish person is a definitely a massive highlight, it was great, um, biggest highlight in my career anyway. When you're living in Germany, you're away all the time, we don't get home so much because we're busy, so to get home for the week of Dublin and to compete there in front of the home crowd is, uh, is great. Boy was coming seven in the World Champion Championships or second in the World Cup Finals or getting the fifth on the World Ranking, they're all very special achievements. The whole thing with a course is to have the horse adjustable. That's something you work on every day when you're not jumping. Work on it when you're warming up before you start jumping, that your horse is listening to you in front of your leg, going forward, coming back. So that obviously will make it a lot easier when you start jumping, that he's um, listening to your aids, which is very important. When you're coming to the fence, you obviously have to um, do everything you can to help the horse, do everything, keep your position right, look forward, keep your hands where they should be and then especially at home let the horse jump, don't help him too much, be relaxed, let him learn. If he wants to make a mistake that's no problem, they have to learn and uh, especially for a young horse, they, they have to figure it out for themselves, you can't be doing everything as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, correct position, getting the horse at the right position then it's up to them. Very, obviously very, very important that the horse is happy and comfortable down to when they leave home to go to the show, they need everything as similar as possible, they need the same good food, the same rugs obviously, that's why we have horse where they're brilliant, the horses are all comfortable and all happy because if that's not all down to a tee, obviously they're not going to perform to their best. When you're riding you have to constantly be thinking about what's happening on the under you, what you can do by your feeling. Every horse is different, every horse is different every day. Some days are a bit fresher, a bit colder, a bit lazier. You have to adjust every day, every minute with your horse, what suits them best, what you can do to improve them. That's, that's vital. When I, when I win, uh, it's quite a special feeling and that's what drives me forward to try and get that again.